everyone. I wanted to do a video showcasing the tools I use to do my interviews and just general vlog stuff while I'm at events, in case you were ever wondering. I'm sure there's a lot of other more professional people who do this, but this is kind of my lightweight. Um, this will get you by and actually have some decent quality if you're looking to do some at the future, any future events, StarCraft or otherwise. So first of all, I've got Old Faithful, basically. So this type of camcorder is very popular with the the, the non-pros, I would say, or even sometimes with the pros, um, because it is not that expensive. And the different models of it, I have an older model, some of the people have newer models. Um, they're all pretty dependable. And as I said, they're, they're kind of inexpensive compared to the other options you could get. It's got a long-ish battery life. I think I've done uh, interviews for about two one and a half to two hours with this just constantly on which i think is pretty good and then it has a replaceable battery pack as well so that if you are like you know on on the go and and ready to go for the next interview you can just replace it and those battery packs are not that expensive um it's obviously kind of lightweight not a you know not a lot to carry around. This this generally will do it for you. But of course, I'm going to advise using some external microphones. But the external microphone really isn't that bad. Um, you know, flip around in case you need to actually be looking at your, your product. And then in general, it has uh, everything you would need. HDMI, mic. I mean, it's just it's a really good camera. And it's a great starter camera, um, especially if you're going to go up into the newer models. So the second thing that I got that I think was really, really helpful in improving the performance of my interviews and vlogs was a handy quarter. Um, this is a part that I bought for like $5 extra. This is what it looks like bare bones. Um, it's very good quality and it also does a very decent job of, of picking up only what you're intending to, not all of the other background noise. You put this on, it also does help. So you have some other options. Uh, it is battery charged. So in some ways that's that's better than having to make sure um, to be near an outlet if you need to charge. It also lasts a hell of a long time. It's got two options. It's got uh, WAV as well as MP3. So one audio quality is better, but even then it's like five hours of recording. And then if it's um, uh, WAV, I think it's 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 like 20 plus. It's just, it's it's so, so useful. And the only downside really is that you have to, in editing, pair up the uh, video with this audio but it is so worthwhile in my opinion than having to work with lavalier microphones or getting a very expensive external microphone for your camera one basic thing that you're going to want to have is uh earbuds these are surprisingly good earbuds i'm not even sure where i bought them i think i just decided i needed them when i was in an airport and bought them there so they're probably overpriced but they're really good for some reason um like, I don't know, like, they just, they actually do a decent job of, like, blocking out sounds. So, uh, you plug that into the handy zoom, for instance, and then you can kind of check your, your levels as well as make sure that you're getting the sound quality that you want to, and then you can take them right off. But they're, they're handy to have, and you can seriously get a very cheap model, like $10 or less, and just, you know, they, they compact and they, they pile on in. The other thing that I, I mistakenly said was, um, you know, a simple one, but really isn't actually, is a lavalier microphone. I said simple, I guess I really meant doesn't take up much space. My bad. So a lavalier microphone, if I'm even saying it correctly, I think I am, um, is those ones that you see like on, on a lot of like professional broadcasts, right? They're like, they go right here or somewhere like that. And the idea is that they're going to be able to pick up generally this area and not so much everything else that's going around. Of course, that means they also won't be able to pick up you if you're going for that style of interview. Um, then that's the, you know, it's not what you want. But if you're going for an interview where you just have the camera on uh, the target, then this actually could be very, very perfect. I guess one obvious thing that I kind of forgot to mention, but good thing I remember it, is I actually have a case for all of this. So I found this to be a perfect case. I got it originally for just the uh, camcorder, I believe, but it ends up being so useful. I can actually fit uh, most of my DSLR in here. That is to say, I can't put much extra lenses, but I can actually fit the, the actual camera in here. Um, you know, we got your, your charger little station there. Um, it can fit other stuff in here as well with the camcorder. But then I have my pocket where I usually put my my headphones and then the lavalier mic and then the uh, zoom handy mic actually does fit in here as well and don't forget your charging cables and and transfer cables they all can go in this
up. I do want to mention a tripod. This one is a little bit bigger than some other tripods I've had. I've had a tripod that actually fits in that, that bag I just showed you, but this one's a little bit bigger. Um, not really going to help you for standing up interviews. Obviously, uh, you can have a much longer tripod, which I actually do have off to my left. I do have a DSLR camera. So for everyone who's like, what are these terms? A camcorder is kind of what you'd expect. Like your dad has a camcorder watching you at Christmas. It just, it, you know, you put it on your hand and you move around, nothing too fancy. Then you have your general cameras that you would see people take on their vacation to France and they're kind of small and they, and they like this and some have decent quality. I know Loco even uses one kind of when he's he's on the run around and, and you know, needs um, uh, less Lead, need something with as little pocket space taken up as possible that didn't come together in my mind very easily um but then you have the big honkers right you have the big old just cameras that you see really professional photographers use generally they have like add-ons out to here and then they have the the road microphone that goes on top and it's just a lot of fanciness the biggest downside to having a dslr besides the size of it is that um, the camera only lasts for 20 minutes on most, if not all, models, I think. So that was a big issue that I had to work with um, was the, the it was only 20 minutes and then I had to either decide to cut the interview or keep going and add another 20 minutes. It was really awkward. It also doesn't have as strong of a battery life um, as things go, but it has a lot of flexibility and the camera quality, once you learn how to use the camera, is excellent. Unfortunately, as even the cheaper models of these cameras go, they are quite pricey and do usually require some type of add-on to really complete the whole setup. So the last thing that I wanted to mention was just the, the things that I learned. Keep extras around. So that's extra batteries, both of your individual cameras, as well as just general like double A, triple A batteries, whatever you need. And then also have extra um, cards, rights, uh, micro SDs. There we go. I was trying to think of what it's called. And then different ways of... Uh, transitioning them to micro to regular and, and whatnot because those those get filled up really quickly and you seem a lot more professional when when something goes wrong you just go oh hold on a second and then you pop another battery in and you're good to go it also helps with not ruining the flow of things so just the number one lesson i learned trying to do all this stuff when i was at austin earlier this year just about does it. Let me know if this helped you or if you have any suggestions. Again, I'm not looking to be totally pro with the interviews, but if you have some cost cutting solutions or general tips or just you know, things that you think are well worth the money, then let me know down below and I'll see you guys later.